It is episode number 12 of We Take the Van, Van Build Series. If you missed it, I think you're looking at episode 10 right here. Got the bunker window, took another episode, episode 11, and purchased some yummy cedar out there. So, the goal of episode 12 is to get the roof. Got to get the roof in, right? So, we are pre-wired, right? So, we've got our... We've got our lights, all the wiring for all the lights, runs through the cavities here, runs down into our electrical cabinet here. Uh, all that stuff's kind of hidden away, so ultimately it'll hit that little DC distribution box, all this stuff is in. So I'm going to sand some cedar. I'm gonna then clear it with some polyacrylic. We will add some strapping along the sides here. We'll tack it up, run some pot lights through there, try to get the switches going. We'll see if we can get it all done in an episode. Hello everyone, we're Jared and Ashley, and last year we purchased a 2017 Mercedes Sprinter that we're currently in the process of converting into our very own off-grid camper van. Follow along on our van build as we share details on our progress, as well as the do's and the don'ts of a van build. This is not good. Oh, I think it's dead. Painting on there. Painting polyacrylic. Polyacrylic. So that's a water-based acrylic finish. It really just adds like a little protective layer to it, right? So makes it pretty. Makes it really pretty. Makes all those knots pop out really well. <laughs> Darker. Yeah, these two look darker because I just did them. Okay, so those will lighten up when they dry? Nice. Cool. So we'll finish up the finishing here and then start working on some strapping. Get some lunch. Get some lunch. Ooh. Because I'm always hungry. It's time for some good slow mo shots of some food. I can see that coming right about now. <laughs> Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. like me a little bit scared of heights why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside it really makes me wonder Okay, so we're working on, before we put the, the uh, ceiling up, we're gonna insulate the inside of these ribs. And there's not really a good way to do it, so I was gonna show you guys how we did it. So, this is SPAR D2 diesel fuel line. It's like this hard, kind of rigid plastic, and it's really good for fishing through tight areas. So this is our last one we have to go. So I'm just gonna push this through here, all right? right there I'll stop so a lot of the videos that we saw on YouTube people were doing this with fishing line and they would tape up all of the holes here and then put a vacuum cleaner to suck through here and it would drag the fishing line across we could not do that and we found this was a lot easier by using something a bit more sturdy and then tying the fishing line to the end to it right so I'll take this strip that we've cut here, you know, just a two inch strip of insulation that'll feed through here. And I've just got a little loop in my 
fishing line. So I'll just press the end over the loop. So we'll put it on there. Start pulling it through. Moving on to strapping, since we're putting the ceiling up. What we've seen a lot, like most people do, is actually put their one by twos and bolt them like this, like the face on the rib. However, you're gonna lose like a quarter inch of headroom if you do that. So three what we're inch. three quarter inch headroom. The width of the board, yeah. So what Jared has done, my little engineer, has actually run it beside the rib and is bolting it in from the side so we can mount the ceiling straight to this so we don't have an extra piece right here. Yep, exactly. So we're using just Craig holes and doing some pre-drilling and running our Craig screws right into the right into the steel and we'll do that for every rib and that'll give us something to tack our ceiling to. Whoa. Centered left and right. You good? Yep. You good on the height here? So we just started on our ceiling, super exciting. We have these three pieces here to start. We're about to start with the longer 12 foot pieces um, and we have to cut out some um, little holes with the hole saw for our LED lights. These are our LED lights. They have these little clamps, they're super thin. So we just gotta take the hole saw and cut in some holes for these. Always do a test cut just to make sure your things fit before you start. Once you get the clips in the hole. Perfect fit. Looks good. I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, it's got nice edging and then you see the little clips, yep. they hold it in. All right, let's do it on the real wood. <laughs> I am freaking out. It looks so good. It does. It's really starting to. Starting Can you to really imagine? Get nice in here. So we have a light right here, a light right here that we haven't put in yet, and then a light down here oh. that we haven't put in yet. So, still gonna add these in, but we're gonna wait until we get all the boards up first so we can route them all. Second board, you add about an insulation. Okay, so just to give you guys an update, we finished the entire ceiling. These two straps on the side, or these two uh, ceiling panels on the side, were the hardest. I would recommend starting with a center and then working your way out so you can make sure that the both um, pieces on each side are even. Um, other than that, we're done. We're about to start on our lights. Well, actually, Jared has started on our lights. Oh, yeah. We have two out of eight. Two out of well, six. Well, two out of six, yeah. 
well. And then we're going to put the trim for the max fan in. So, here's a DC 12 volt light. It's kind of cool. Super low profile. You just drill a hole that's this size, wire it up, and then when you shove the wire back, you just kind of shove the wire back in the hole. And it's got these two sweet little springs. So you just kind of bend the one up, fold the other one in, and then it just literally just pops into place. Looks like perfectly finished. If I ever needed to get it back out, just grab it and pull it right back down and the springs let it go. It's pretty sweet. Solid design. We're gonna try to turn them on for the first time and see if they got one. Here we go. You ready? I'm so scared. No! No! They don't work. What's wrong? I don't know. Oh. I had the shunt turned off while I was working on it. Let's try again. <gasps> Ooh. What did you do? I turned it on. Oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. Dude. They're in. Alright, so now that we got all the lights working, we are going to trim out this max fan Shroud. cover. Yep. So it's a little thick. Oh, 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 oh. Careful. Careful. So yeah, we're gonna have to trim like four inches or so off of the back end so it goes in nice and flush. So what I need to really do is figure out how much to cut off. Jared says she's in. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Looks so good. Let's go. So check out our ceiling. It's awesome. All oh, thanks to you. Looks good. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us along on Instagram at We Take the Van. Thanks, we'll see you guys next week.